equation, but you didn't write down the triangle, the oblique triangle. Yeah, well, what if I was going to erase this? So the first thing, Kyle, that you're going to want to make sure that you have um, is going to be your law of sines. All right? And what the law of sines is, is going to be a relationship between the angles and the sides. All right? So the relationship of the law of sines <coughs> is the sine of a over a is equal to the sine of b over b which is equal to the sine of c over c. It's a relationship between the angle and the sides. All right. Now, obviously, if you guys will notice, we've never solved an equation that has two equal signs. So we're not going to use all three of these relationships. We're only going to use what we need. And I'll show you an example about that when we get into a problem. But the main important thing, what you guys want to see is that this relationship. Now, another time you might see as well, which is the same thing, is you might see it written like this. Which is the exact same thing. It doesn't matter if you have the side on the numerator or the side in the denominator. Okay? It's the exact same thing. All right? So let's go through a problem because it really